Each time a man stands up for an ideal, or acts to improve the lot of others, or strikes out against injustice, he sends forth a tiny ripple of hope, and crossing each other from a million different centers of energy and daring, those ripples build a current which can sweep down the mightiest walls of oppression and resistance. All right, class, so for this assignment, I want you to be inspired by RFK's work and his legacy. To that end, I'm gonna have you make a short documentary about a human rights defender in your community, but I want it to be something that speaks to you and makes you believe that you can defend human rights in your community. I wasn't sure which human right to decide for my project, so I spoke with my friends about it to see which one would be the best, and after some research, I decided to go with Article 19, freedom of speech, because I think it really resonated with me and my experience as a black woman. Afterwards, I went to my advisor, Rebecca, and we discussed more about the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and the freedom of speech, and she brought up a fascinating name that was shockingly familiar, Rodney Glasgow. And then I remembered that I met him at the diversity conference earlier this year and eager to learn more about what he had to say about the freedom of speech. I reached out to him and he said yes. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that makes any sense. It does, it does. So why do you think freedom of speech is so important? Freedom itself is important. <laughs> the speech is important, so freedom of speech would be important. But also words have an immense power. And if you take away my ability to use words, to say words, then you impact my ability to think words, and you impact my ability to act upon my thoughts. It is an enslavement to take away freedom of speech. I protect people's right to speak their truths, but I also protect people's rights not to be spoken to in certain ways, not to have certain things spoken at them, not to hear certain things in the hallway. So there is freedom of speech, but I think people confuse freedom of speech with the right to say anything I want to whomever I want. And I am down the middle in that. So my job is to empower you to say what you want to say, but also not to empower you to say those things that you shouldn't be saying. Because in that way, speech can be like violence. Saying something to you like that could be the same as slapping you in the face and when we think about the brain, what is interesting is the brain doesn't register that as any different. The pain you would feel if I were to slap you in the face is the same pain you would feel if I said something to you that hurt you to your core. So how do you think a student my age could possibly fight for their freedom of speech? Keep speaking, refuse to be silent. Don't always think getting louder means being heard. There is the power in a whisper, but a whisper is not the same as silence. It is a form of love to hear each other when it's difficult, when you have to strain, when you have to focus. It's one thing to hear me when it's easy. It's one thing to hear me when I'm shouting. But if somebody tries to take your speech, our inclination is to keep shouting. And part of that is great, and that's empowering. But also to keep speaking even when no one's listening, because someone will hear you. And so thinking about just because no one is listening to me now, does that mean I should stop speaking, right? What would happen if I just kept talking? What would happen if I just kept speaking? What would happen if I refused to be silent? I chose Rodney as my human rights defender because when I heard him speak for the first time at the diversity conference, I felt he was speaking to me and to my story and to my experience. And he was speaking to the thousands of other young people that were listening, dying to be heard. When Rodney fights for the freedom of speech every single day in his line of work, he fights for our stories to be told, our experiences to be understood, and our presence to be acknowledged. All right, I'm super excited to see your final projects today. So our first documentary about a human rights defender will be Jalsa's. Welcome. 